got it. Fish. Back camera ain't going. I forgot the net. Smoke this thing. Sitting in front of my wing dam. I gotta check him and see how big he is. That's a 17 and a half inch sauger. Beautiful fish. Nice salty fish. Alright, he just smoked that willow cap plastic. Oh, get him back. There he goes. Another one. Yep. Same deal. There's a tree or something back there. And he just taking crack that I pulled it through the tree and he ain't as big as the last one. What are you? I'm more, more or less just got that back there and he just freaking hammered it again. That's another, you know, that's a 17 inch or two. That's a solid fish. That's another good one there. Another butterball, another 17 inch sauger. And get him back. Just a freaking smoke that jig. That liquid willow cat, savage swimmer. Just freaking cranked it. another solid fish I'm gonna get him back nice right back down all right little breakdown we're just sitting above this wing there and it kind of tails out towards the channel but they got quite a bit of flow going right here this was the first wing dam down from the dam on pool four and I saw something down there on live scope we're sitting at about 19 feet of water in this moderate flow and there's another wing dam just below us that we'll probably end up checking to um, I would generally like to sit out farther but it rips pretty hard there so I'm just sitting directly up from it and casting back and kind of guessing where you know where that face that wing dam is and there's a tree or something there because I pulled through it on that second fish and and it just freaking smoked it uh, I might let the spot lock off and drift us a little bit farther back because I mean it's all the way at the end of my calf. Well that was, we just come over this hump here just pulling us up river and that was awesome. He just smoked it. This is a good one too. But, but like the other ones I got, oh yeah he's mad too. He just smoked that thing. Look at that. Another beautiful sauger. Come here, guy. Come here. Got him. That's another beautiful fish. Just smoke that plastic. You just see him on side imaging. I'll try to put a shot in there. And uh, he just just greased it on side imaging. Just uh, see how big he is another 18 inch here it's another beautiful sauger here let me show the camera in front just smoked it this is the color today that bright yellow has been the hot deal man he just attacked that thing 
All right, I'm gonna release this guy. Three eighths ounce jig, savage swimmer, doing damage on pool four to the eight. And there he goes, he's fired up. So I was moving the boat up the spot and I put a map shot in here. My waypoints, that's where I previous, previously fished up here when there was lower flow, but today there's quite a bit of flow and there's a shelf here. As I came through on side imaging, just putzing with the trolling motor, I was graphing just a ton of fish right on that edge, right directly off from us. So they're kind of sitting off that as the flow comes right over the top of the shelf and then drops like 30 feet behind us. I'll, I'm up right along the side of it and I'm marking a lot of fish. So we'll give this a minute and see if we can pick up some more here. Stay tuned. I have tried other colors. The uh, I have tried that chartreuse, savage swimmer, but this seems to be the deal. This yellowish, they probably don't get a lot of see a lot of this up here, but and just rolling it real slow with a three eighths ounce jig, and you know when you got them because they crack it. Now that's the only bites I've had have been decent saugers. The smallest one has been 17 inches. This is this is obviously a reaction bite. Um, live bait, you're probably going to run into some smaller ones, but yeah. So yeah, stay tuned. Got it. Yep. Fish. Another good one. This kind of mushed it. He didn't really hit it. He is a long ways out. It's always fun when you forget the net in the truck. Oh, they are fired up today. You gotta love the plastic bite. Yeah, that's a good one too. Oh, walleye. That's why I kind of chin pinned it. That's a fatty. It's a nice first walleye, 16 and a half incher. Nice looking fish. He kind of trapped that one. We're not keeping fish anyway, but that was fun. He just kind of mushed it. I felt him and laid into him. Maybe I should leave the net at the truck more often. Just got that walleye. There he goes. Awesome. I was up here trying to look with the live scope and see see if I could see some fish and that guy just mushed it. He just freaking come up and smoked it. I was just hanging it out in the current like 19, 20 feet. And winds out of the north. So we are fighting the wind and the current. And we're just on this shelf up here by the dam. And all the fish have been quality fish up here. It's, it's been pretty crazy. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. Another one. He is way out there. Let's say grab the net, but we don't have a net. Yeah, same deal. Just pulling this plastic. Keep my rod tip low. We're in a little less flow right here. We're sitting in probably like 18 feet. I'm working the edge of this uh, table, this shelf here that comes up. This guy is winging the freak out there. <laughs> it's hard to say how big he is. Just oh. It's not huge, but all about the same size. Yep, that's a walleye too. Same deal. Just, just team on that thing. Well, not team on. Come here. Come here, guy. All right, just got this 17 incher. Beautiful fish on the Savage Swimmer again using my 7.2 medium extra fast action Kate Outdoors rod. 
just demolished it. We're gonna get a couple picks and get this guy unhooked. They are just crushing the Savage Swimmer 3 8 jig. And yeah, you don't want to give that up. <laughs> I smoked it. Nice fish. I want to say it's like my fifth one of the day. Beautiful fish. And I'll let him go. There's no really any rhyme or reason. They're all just kind of sitting on this ledge here. And I'm just pitching along at it. Another one. Got him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. The flow has went down a bit here. I don't think this guy's as big as the last one, but I just told her to throw a live, live crawler on because uh, the bite is not uh, as aggressive. But I mean, that's, that's still a decent one. I mean, no net. I still gotta grab him. Still a nice little butterball. Beautiful fish. I want to say that's about. Look at, look at how fat these things are. Little pigs, They're up there feeding on something. It's a little butterball, and everyone has been just crushing that savage swimmer. All right, another nice pool four fish here. That's just shy of 15. I think there's no size limit on these guys, but we ain't keeping. See you later. There, there are fish. They're just on this ledge here. I'm going to put this shot in here on my live scope. There's a couple of them down there. They're just behind us here. And I'll kind of pan around here, show you guys. And we're just casting parallel with that ledge and just working it along or up on top of it in the shallow and bringing it across. And they are just smoking it. Hooked up. Almost took her head off. I had to do a reverse hook set there. I was just checking out the situation with the current. And this guy just smoked it. Another butterball. A fat little pool four sauger. It's really blonde colored. That's a beautiful fish right there. On butterball. Just just smoking that thing. Just reeling it along the edge there. Alright. Have a look. What a beautiful fish. Just as many of these as you want on this ledge. That's a six sixteen incher. <laughs> I told you. I said there was one right under the boat. Now, baby. Okay, slow. Now, just wait. This way. I gotta grab your line. Hold on. Very good. <laughs> Open the fatty. I told her there was one right under the boat. I could see him on live scope. Oh, I'm hooked up. And that was a snag. Never mind. It was one right under the boat. I could see him on live scope, and every time I would reel my plastic through there, he would just nibble at it and pull it down the. Oh, I just had a hit there. He would just nibble at it and pull it down. Well, I told her drop that bait down there and we'll see what we got. And that's a nice 16 incher there. Her first fish, finally. Show the camera. That was awesome. Dropped it right down there. Okay. This guy go a nice 16 and a half inch slugger. Yeah. There goes. Good job. I got one. Got him. Yep. It just never gets old. They are all about this size. They are just stacked in the, on the edge of this hole here. This might be a better one. Or it's a I think it's a sauger. He's just fighting, fighting hard. He don't have big head shakes, but no net is it's not fun. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at this sauger. Oh baby, this is a good one. The walleye. Thought it was a sauger. Come here. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> look at this one. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Wet hands and all. Alright. As you can see, he just cranked that. Nice, you know, I'm going to say 21 inch or nice 21 inch fish here. Can't get the back camera isn't functioning, so let's show the one in front. Nice. 21 inch fish Mississippi River pool for fish We're gonna get this guy back and they are on today there he goes just got that 21 inch put this map shot in here um, what we're looking for we're on the face of this little shelf that comes up and it's got moderate flow over it and we are just uh, Pitching along the sides of it back towards the shore the current kind of swirls around and heads back towards the dam but these fish are just lit up on side imaging i come putzing through here and saw them i could see them on the scope uh every once in a while just cruising this edge they are active hitting plastics and she got that one on live bait too so i'm pretty sure you could pretty much get anything down there right now and they'd smoke it got them smoked it right next to the boat Woo! No. they're on today oh my god hey calm down this one's a little guy but he's pretty get him in the back here that's a pretty, that's a pretty one oh and off he comes <laughs> that's the bad part about not having a net <laughs> another one there beautiful fish i'm gonna say 16 inch butter ball, yep. Okay, so like I said, same program here. It's just been a phenomenal day up here on Pool 4. Uh, there's only one other boat up here. Most people that were here earlier in the day were vertical jigging, and that's just not the deal today. Um, these other guys are casting too. That's the deal. They, they want this thing moving along, and this is a great way to catch some fish. She's hooked up. What is it, a walleye? Little? Yeah. I think so. Well, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> that's a tiny one. That's the smallest one of the day. Yeah. And it happened to come uh -huh. on live bait. That's her second fish only. Um, sometimes live bait is uh, not the deal, but. Yep, nice little guy, throw him back. I'm hooked up again. You know, this is this is another one, the same size. But he was almost to the boat. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, it's a walleye. He's all wrapped up funny. One on the Savage Swimmer, it's another, you know, that's like a, I'd say, 15-incher. Definitely the smallest walleye of the day. I'll put him on the bump, 16. There's a lot of them up here, a lot of males like this, which is good to see in the system. Yep, and you see everyone, they're just cracking this. this He's got kind of some funny markings on him, but if we were keeping, we would have definitely had a limit by now. Just another solid fish, 16 inch, you know, release them. Yeah, there's just a pile of fish up in the river right now. Awesome. He just crushed it, got him. It's another one, it's another donkey, pool forward donkey. I'm varying my retrieve now real, real slow, pause, real fast, pause, and this guy, he got it right after the pause. 
Ooh, he's hard. He's hardly hooked. A little butterball. Jake Pop thought he was barely hooked. All right, have a look, another 16 and a half inch pool four sauger. There's a pile of them behind us on live scope. I'm gonna dump this guy in the back here and get some more. As you can see here, there is a bunch of them on the live scope just behind us, you know, like 25 feet and we're just pitching at them. I'm not really watching it. I just kind of, that's give me a visual where these fish are sitting. You can see them kind of moving around back there. They're set up right on the sledge. So we're gonna cast back there again and uh, see if we can get a couple more of these. You know, it snowed here the night before and I was thinking, you know, post front, this bite would not be happening. We started out pulling Dubuque rigs and uh, really weren't getting any fish. Decided to check these wing dams in this pool up by the dam. Oh, I just got smoked there. Got him. As the camera's running, you couldn't time that any more perfect. You got one? No. And uh, this is the deal today. This is so, so much fun when it's on. It isn't always on, but the quality that you get pulling pla pulling plastics, casting plastics is way better. And this is another nice sauger. Just unbelievable. Just top of the lip smoked it. And I wish I had a net today because they are fired up. Another piggy. Another pool four piggy. That is a nice sauger. All right, I'm gonna bump this guy real quick check them this is the deal today this color I'm gonna have to put an order in a more of that yellowish whoops willow cat color it's just another cookie cutter 18 and a half inch sauger pool four smashing them today look at that beautiful fish just there I cannot believe the amount of fish in this system and there's nobody out here today. Last day of 2023. To get him back, he, he's ready to go. Awesome. Just hooked up again. Seen that one. Little? I'm gonna have to grab him. Here, move, come over here and I'll grab him. It's a baby or what? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you got to get him closer. I don't have a net. All right. That's a good one. It's like a 15, 16 incher. Nice fish. Snap a couple picks of him. Let me get my plastic in here where I got smoked. Just an incredible amount of fish in here. It's unreal. Hold on, show the camera in front. Let me. All right, okay. Picture of this guy on back 16 inch. Pool four walleye, there she goes, or he goes. Good job. So as I was saying, she's using a live night crawler. I'm just using this plastic because it is a little bit different technique. I'll just show you real quick. I'm doing it, I'm bombing it towards shore like three quarters, you know, not quite directly behind the boat, but kind of halfway in between shore and the boat. And I just, I'll just slow roll this thing, rod right tip down and See if I can get one as I'm demonstrating this. And sometimes I'll vary my retrieve. I'll go fast like that and then pause it and then kind of go slow. Sometimes I'll hang it there to see where I'm at on bottom wise because you do lose bottom contact in the current like this. And if I 
feel like I'm too far off bottom, oh, there's one, I will dump line, I'll open the bale and, and just feed line back. Oh, I, I just got bumped again. This is ridiculous. They're, they're just sitting right on this ledge. And let's see if I can get one and go here. It's all in the in the technique. Most guys will just pull Dubuque rigs or Miller rigs, and that works. That's effective. That'll cover ground. But when you know where these fish are and you can literally cast at them and get them almost every cast, you can't you can't beat this method. Just sit there and pick them off because they're all wadded up in the, in this certain location right here. Just got smoked right next to the boat. Got him. It's not as big. I seen him flash there. It's decent. I mean, can you bolt flip them? Yeah. You can bolt flip a 16, 17 incher. Jigs off. This is insane. Insane fishing. So one after another after another. 15 incher, put him back, 15 incher, 15 and a half, excellent fish. And another boat just came up, a nice fish, I'm going to get him back. And there he goes, he's just chasing her down, got him. <laughs> this is insane. I could feel him pecking at it. I just kind of, ooh, he's angry. I could, I felt him tap tapping at it and I just slowed my retrieve up enough for him to get it. You know, sometimes you got, just kind of got to adjust your retrieve. Yeah, this is a good one. He's got most of that jig in his mouth. Again, no net. He, that's the thing like that's in the mouth so that's a legal fish but I mean he was just scooping this thing off bottom look at that this is just non-stop all day it's another quality fish oh and he is fired up angry little guy Let's see 16, 17. I mean, no, they're all about the same size. Yep. 16 and a half. Another one. Get him back. Excellent. But he just smoked it right next to the boat. Little? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can flip him in. Flip him in here. Get him in here. Little guy. There's all kinds of them in there. All right, very good. Show the camera. Yeah, just seems like our better fish have come on plastic though by far. It's <laughs> just ridiculous. Little, yeah. then get them back. Back down there, get bigger. That's gonna do it. Wrapping everything up here. A little outing on pool four, day number two. Casting plastics, I was using my 7.2 medium extra fast Kate Outdoors with a 3 8 ounce and a twister and she had her 6.9 Kate Outdoors medium light, medium light fast action, 6.9, great rod, yeah, just casting at the shoreline, awesome time, caught multiple fish over 16, 17 inches, I got one good one, like 21. Yeah, and as always, appreciate y'all for watching. If you're not, please like or comment and subscribe and stay tuned for our next video.